Good morning, everyone. Good morning, dear friends. Uh, welcome back to Yoga Shalom at Home. Happy Elul. I'm Reb Cantor Lisa Levine, and I'm your guide through this world of yoga through a Jewish lens. This is the first of four practices dedicated to our preparation for Rosh Hashanah. And these Elul practices you can find on my YouTube channel at Cantor Lisa Levine. And if you want to join us in person, please go to my website, CantorLisaLevine.com. Sign up for my newsletters. They'll send you a link. So today will be mostly gentle. If you want to go a bit deeper, just work into a more vigorous flow if you wish. And each week we'll progressively get a little bit deeper. And then we're going to end with restorative practice. So let's set an intention, uh, a kavana for our practice today. This month of Elul requires us to do a cheshbon hanefesh, an accounting of our souls. According to the Kabbalists, our spirits are an extension of the light, the shards that exploded when the universe was created. So the big bang of existence, that light exists right here inside of us. It emanates from within the spherot, the energy centers that exist within our bodies. And I'm gonna be mentioning these as we flow through our practice today. They circle with light, they send us energy, they bring purity and cleansing both to mind, body, and spirit. So as we bathe in light today, ask yourself, what do you need to be the best person that you can be? What needs more attention? Where can I put my energy? So let's start with a mikvah of light today. We're going to imagine a light of any color, a color that you associate with energy and determination. Connected to the crown of the head, extending to the source of light. Go a little bit better. And if you can be sure to mute if you're with us, make sure that you're muted. I'm going to mute you, Ellen. So extend that line of energy, that light, all the way up and connect it to the source of light. And imagine the light creating space and opening a window into the truths that are hidden deep within. Allow the light to just flow down through the head into the third eye, the wisdom center into the throat, down the right arm and left arm, compassion and strength, connecting at the heart center, just a mikvah of light flowing down the spine, into the hips, down the right leg and the left, to your determination and humility, Balancing with Yesod, your belly, Kishkes, Chutzpah, all the way down to the feet. Feel the feet connecting with Shekhinah, the mother. If your feet don't touch the ground, use a block. And as your shoulders gently relax away from the ears, just nod the head from right to left, release all of the tension in the whole body as though you are flowing with light, flowing with water. And all the way upward as you're connecting with the source, keep that connection throughout our practices even as we begin our pranayama, our mikvah of breath. So the, the breath becomes even more of a connection to the light as we flow through. 
I'm going to move back to the mat, but you can stay on a chair for the whole first part of the practice if you wish, or come down to the mat in Sukhasana. Relax the shoulders away from the ears as you inhale through the nostrils. And then as you exhale, Soften the gaze to the drishti at the tip of the nose or close the eyes. Release anything that you don't need. And just get all the breath, squeeze the breath out of the body. Then inhale again into the lower belly, the lower lungs. In the upper lungs, the body is the well of healing. The light is expanding all the way up into the heart, all the way into the throat. And as you release the breath, relax the arms. Out through the nostrils. And let that light join all the other lights, shards. Inhaling, it can be challenging to slow the breath this way, and it takes practice. And that's what we do with this light practice today. We're filling with light all the way up to the kenter, to the crown, connected to the source of life. And then as we release, we're bringing that light down and it's melting over us, just like the waters of the lake, the waters of the ocean, the waters of the brook, the waters of the river. Inhale and lower belly, lower lungs, upper lungs, fill the breath all the way into the throat, and imagine it coming into the third eye, all the way to the connection to the source, and then slowly bringing that light all the way down through the heart into the six bones. Empty all the air. Inhale. Bring the light into the lower belly. Lower lungs, imagine that light filling all the way up to the Keter, connected to the source. And then slowly release that light into the world. Squeeze all the air from the lungs. Release any toxins that you might be carrying. Then inhale. Let the belly flop open. Inhale into the lower lungs. And to the upper lungs. And again, imagine the air going all the way up to the source. Gathering that energy of light and then bringing it all the way back down. And allowing it to flow over the body, in the front, the back, the right, the left. The angels of light protecting you, strengthening you, healing and opening all the possibilities for this month of Elul. One more inhale. Getting to the source. Opening the heart. Finding truth. And release and then breathe normally. Shake out the hands a little bit. And roll the shoulders when we start to move. 
Now the gaze can be softened. You don't have to watch me, you can listen to my voice. Bring the hands to the knees. If you're sitting in the chair, exactly the same thing. Just make sure your feet are touching the floor or on a block. That way you can be nice and grounded. The soul that you have given me, oh God, is pure. Open my heart to blessings. So this light of truth, this light of opening, we're going to bring into the heart center. It's just going to allow us to create space for what it is that we need today for ourselves. We ask ourselves, what do I need? What is my truth? Inhale, let's shine some light on that. Open the heart center and look up as you exhale. Roll the shoulders forward. Inhale, roll the shoulders back. Look up. And as you exhale, roll the shoulders forward and tuck the chin in tight. Yeah, each time a little deeper. Inhale, rolling the shoulders back. And then as you exhale, use your breath to release everything you don't need. Let's add the arms. Inhale, this is going to open the heart, bring the fingertips behind, and then sit back and exhale. Let everything go. So inhale, gather the light into the hands and bring it all the way down to the earth, blessing the Shafina for the light. Inhale, come up. Bring the arms behind and shift back. Use your arms sort of as kickstands. If you're in the chair, grab the back of the chair. Exhale out anything you don't need. Inhale up and all the way forward and release that hip. The left hip, you should feel the release in the hip that you have the leg in front. Let's inhale up, and I feel like we need to open the side body. So let's just go over to the right, nice and gentle. Look up under that left arm. Open up that side of the body. Inhale up, and all the way over. Open up the chesed, the compassion of the right side of the body. One more time, each side, inhale that light and open the strength in the left side of the body. Inhale up, both arms up, and bring that strength into the hand all the way down the midline, and we're going to balance that light right at the heart center. Good, inhale up, grab the light. And as you grab it, we're just going to do a nice, easy twist. And look behind. Use the drishti or the gaze to bring the neck around a little bit more. Exhale. Inhale. Grab that light. Grab that light and bring it all the way around to the other side. Use the drishti to open the heart. Really stretch the neck. So much. Inhale one more time. Open the light up into the hands, all the way forward. Reach forward, reach, 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 and then all the way down. Hello, kind of shimmer, shimmer, that could be so hold on, please. And come up and just bring hands to heart center, massage that light into the heart. Now, if you've got the right leg in front, switch it to the left or vice versa, just so we can get a little bit more hip opening in the opposite hip. And if you're in a chair, don't worry about it. So we're going to bring some circles of light now into every cell of our body. So let's just start with some little simple neck circles, little neck circles one way, and then little neck circles. Remember that thread that's connected to the source of light. That's just creating light all the way out to as far as we can imagine to every living thing in the universe, including us. And now make the circles with your head a little bit bigger and start to bring your shoulders into the action. Just adding those circles of light, creating the energy and creating a force field of light above you. And then go in the opposite direction. 
continuing to expand the circle of light. This is going to become our force field. It's going to protect us throughout the month of Elul into the High Holy Day season. Now let's begin using our whole torso. Let's warm up the base of the spine where it meets the hip girdle. Let's create some space there. So one direction and then the other direction. Leading with the heart, always leading with the heart. That's where the light emanates from. Teferi, our compassion, our love, our kindness. Inhale, let's use our arms and let's create this force field all the way around this. Big circles, inhaling. And releasing. Inhaling the light, gathering the light all around us. Feel that energy. I can feel it coming into my hands, into my fingers, all the way down my arms, all the way down into my yesod, my, my balance, my, my grounding into the earth. Other way. Good. Let's bring our arms out and make some big circles. Gather the light in. Gather it in. Inhaling. Gathering the light. Sing some songs and pray. Inhaling, arms up, gather the light in. Now reach way forward, way forward, lengthening the spine and then come all the way down. And let's join that light to the Shekinah, to the mother, the light that surrounds us, protects us. And then hand up. Love it. Good. Let's stand. If you need a chair, always use something to support yourself if you need it. We're going to just start with uh, this um, praise the source of light. So if you need something to balance yourself, please feel free to do that. Or if you're in a chair, just bring your legs wide. We've done this a lot, so you know what to do. Legs are wide. We're going to start with just inhaling. Exhale and bend the knees. Open the heart. Inhale, straighten. And exhale. Come a little bit deeper if you can. Good. Inhale up. And this time as you exhale, bring the arms out with elbows bent. Davi Asana, the goddess, praising the goddess. Inhale, exhale, send that praise out to beyond what anything that we know, beyond the universe, to the source. Inhale, exhale one more time. Devi Asana, we are the light. We are the goddess. We are the source. Inhale, exhale, send that light out and join with the source. Inhale, hands are at hip creases as you Bring the crown of the head towards the opposite wall. The kete comes all the way forward, hinging down towards Shekhinah, joining our energy of light with the earth. Now relax the neck and nod yes and no or right to left. Just make sure you're not holding a lot of tension in the neck. Let the shoulders connect with the earth and let anything that you don't need just come along. Release any burdens you might be feeling. Allow the light of strength of Shekhinah to come in through the arms and up through the heart all the way down to the feet. A circle of light, all of this chi, all of the spirit connected with the shards of light, energy, source, and when you feel you're ready, just hinge up. No rolling, please. Hinge up. Toes out 45 and one more time down into Devi Asana. Inhale, exhale, open the heart, open the arms, bring in the light. 
that energy. Inhale, exhale, and become one with the source. Inhale, bring the palms and the hands together, balancing all of the sphere of arms, legs, third eye, wisdom, to ferret, hearts, and bring that balance right into the heart center. Please, yeah. And release. Perfect. We are going to do our Yotsa or Sun Salutation. Again, if you need the chair for Downward Dog, please use it. You don't have to get down on the floor. But we're going to try to do a nice and easy Sun Salutation. Surya Namaskar for Yotsa or lots of energy in the sun, the light. Mm. We begin with our swan dive down. Inhale up and fingertips to the earth as you guys nice and slow today. Nice and gentle. Inhale, flat back, fingertips are at the shins, half hold. As you exhale, bring the hands down to the earth, step back with the right. Inhale, exhale back with the left. Inhale and drop the heels towards the earth. And as you exhale, just drop the hips towards the earth. Inhale, chaturanga, little baby push up. Exhale. Inhale, open the heart with Hujangasana. Inhale, down and then push back and exhale. And press both heels into the ground. Good. Lift the right leg up if you want, or you can always just come down to your knees. If you want to lift the right leg, inhale, and as you exhale, bring that foot between the hands. Inhale, exhale, bring left to meet right. Inhale, reverse swan dive. And hands are in. Manjali Mudra. Let's do it again. Inhale and exhale all the way down. Fingertips are to the mat. Inhale, half full. But the back is straight. And as you exhale, bring the hands to the earth. Inhale, left foot back and right. And as you exhale, press the heels into the mat or you can come to the knees. Inhale, exhale. Drop the hips. Inhale, exhale, little yoga push up down. Inhale, open the heart, bring the light right into the heart center. Gather that light as you exhale. Inhale, back into downward facing dog. And exhale. Inhale, lift the left leg or come down to the knees. As you exhale, just bring that foot between the hands. Inhale, bring that right foot to meet the left. Inhale, the arms come up. Reverse swan dive. Hands into heart center. Bring the hands down into Tadasana and chant. Open the heart to light. Open that the mind to the new possibilities of this new month of the world, this new year. And peace. Take it out. And today we're going to create a blessing for ourselves as we always do. This is a blessing for light, the light that we need for ourselves. Take a moment as you bring hands to heart center 
close the eyes if that's available and you feel comfortable doing so. Just think of a place in your life where you'd like to shine some light to open up a pathway for truth. And as we go into Utkatasana, we'll bring that embodiment into our bodies, our minds, and our spirits. So bring hands into hip creases again. Feet are hip distance apart, which is not too wide. My hips are kind of narrow, so really it's just the width of your foot. Inhale, exhale, sit right back down into your chair. And if you're seated in a chair, be sure to come to the edge of the chair so that when you bring your arms out, you feel energized all the way through the body. And breathe, bringing your blessing or your kavana, your intention into the hands. Study it, just like Torah. We're gonna open that light, that pathway for Dharma. What is our purpose? Where do we belong? What should we be spending our time doing in this coming year? Where have we done well? Where could we do better? Good. And then send that blessing out. Open the arms, step into the feet. That intention, I love it. And shake it out. We're gonna go down one more time. This time we're going to bring hands heart center again. Bring to mind something that you just want to push away, something you don't need anymore. We're going to release that because light can do that. It can allow us to release what we don't need, something that's not serving us anymore. Once again, hands into hip creases. Inhale, exhale, right down into our chair and then push away. Push, 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 push. And you notice that my hands are in prolongo, which is a blessing. So I'm blessing all of us with the strength to let go. Let go, push it away. Inhale and then exhale, let that go. Just let it go. You can do that practice every day. Keep pushing things away that you don't need and keep blessing yourselves with the things you do. Let's take a listen for what it is that we need today. So coming over to the side of the mat, we're gonna go into a triangle flow. Inhale, as you exhale, bring the left toes with your toes toward the wall and the right toes in at a 45 degree angle. Inhale, exhale, the right hip open, open up, open. Lift the arms, inhale, exhale, drop the shoulders. Inhale, lean way over that front leg and then come into Trikonasana triangle, opening the heart, gaze as if the thumbnail, the drishti, or down at the toenail. And breathe and bring that open hearted light into every part of the body coming in through the right arm all the way down, the compassion all the way down to the left leg connecting with Shekhinah. That balance all the way through the body. Inhale, exhale, bring the right hand to the right back thigh, left arm over. Inhale, one more time, all the way down. And up, open the heart. Inhale, exhale, bring that back into the back thigh. Reverse triangle. Let's go straight to the other side. So, right toes to the wall, left toes in. Inhale, open the left hip. Inhale, drop the shoulders. Lean way over that front leg, coming into Tricking us in our triangle. Gaze at the thumbnail and breathe. Bringing all that light into the raised arm, all the way down to the leg and foot on the earth. The balance of strength and humility. Spear out. Bring the left hand to left back thigh, right arm over. 
breathing, listening, opening, receiving. Inhale, back hand to left back thigh. Bring your toes together, hands at heart center, eyes, gaze is soften, inhale, shh. Come in, Release. Again, the feet hip distance apart. Hands are down, palms forward into dasana. Soften the gaze or close the eyes. Now is when we imagine the light of our ancestors coming all the way from Sinai. Imagine the thunder, the light that they witnessed that day. The receiving of Torah, the receiving of truth. The receiving of the path that they'd be set on for thousands of years. And we come as Shalshalat Kabbalah, the next link in this chain of tradition from wherever our path has taken us. We now embody that light. So feel the strength and light of our ancestors coming up through the feet, whoever that you want to imagine. Maybe it's all of them. I'm just imagining everyone coming into my feet, legs, all the way up my spine, into my arms, down to my hands. Their strength, their light, giving me energy into my heart center, all the way up to my throat, my, my truth, into my arms, and up to my wisdom, my third eye. Can I see all the way back my history? all the way to the future, my path, where am I meant to be? Feel this light washing over, just like that mikvah that we experienced at the beginning of our practice. Inhale, arms up, and clasp the fingers together in Vajra Mudra, and as you inhale, just Come up onto the toes if you can. If you need a chair balance, that's fine too. Sometimes it's easier to do this on the floor. You just have carpet and you might need something to hold on to. Inhale up and come down. Now you have to open your eyes to do this because this is a balance. Inhale up and come down. Roll back on the heels one more time. Inhale up onto the toes. And roll back onto the heels, and then just a nice, easy side bend over to the right. Inhale up onto the toes, roll back onto the heels, and a nice little side bend over to the left. Of course, you don't have to roll up onto the toes if you don't want to. Just come up slightly. And then other side as you exhale. Inhale up. Kadosh, 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 holy, 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 all of this light just coming in through the fingertips all the way down. Now, let go of the hands and create that force field we were talking about. The force field of light. You're going to just create that all the way around yourself, all the way around from the top, all the way down to the feet. And as you're breathing, hallelujahs are, are all the spirits of all of the ancestors flowing around you into hallelujah and then just release the arms. Hallelujah. Just pat out all of the energy that's in the middle of the body and just allow it to flow. Flow and flow and become part of you. And then as you still yourself into dasana, once again with hands down to the side, close the eyes and feel the energy now flowing through the body. Notice the effects of the practice that we've done so far. Allow a stillness to come into the heart center. 
allow energy to flow all the way down to the feet. Notice if some emotions are coming, let them flow out and join the flow of the river. We are going to come now down to the mat. If you're able to do that, if you can't come onto the floor, it's absolutely fine. You can do what you're going to be doing in a chair as well. You'll just be balancing this way in the chair as we're doing our balances on the mat. I'm going to bring a blanket here for you because I just like to do that. And let's let's come on to tabletop. So the shoulders are right under the hands, knees right under the hips. This is a song of blessing, for the light of blessing for all the gifts that we've been given. We're going to send some light out to the world. So let's inhale and extend our right hand out like we're going to shake somebody's hand, and then press the left foot back. This is called bird dog, but it can be really a good balance and feeling that extension of compassion in the right arm as you press the left leg back, feeling the endurance and the love coming into the center of the heart and legs. Inhale as you exhale, just draw the elbow toward the knee and crunch. Inhale, press the arm out with the foot behind. Exhale, one more time, crunch. And come back to the top and sit into child's velocity. And the arms out in front of you and send the blessing of light to the world. Inhale, exhale, come up to the top. Inhale, extend the left hand out as though you're shaking someone's hand and press the right foot out. You've got strength in the left arm, the ability in the right leg. And we're balancing that all the way down the spine. Inhale, exhale, just draw the left elbow to the right knee, crunch in. Bring that chi, that energy into this, into that area. Inhale. Stretch the left arm out, press the right foot back, and then as you exhale, crunch and bring all that energy into you, so into your ground place. Good. Inhale, out, drop the hand, drop the knees, sit back into balasana. Child's pose, wiggle the tail a little bit, release the hips. Inhale, exhale, and allow your forehead to drop towards the mat. If that's not good for you, you can stack your fists up. And if you're sitting in a chair, just bring your head down towards the knees. Inhale, and exhale. Come right back up into tabletop. Good. And send the right leg out. Inhale as you exhale, bring that knee forward, stretch out the hip into the pigeon. Open the heart and send an intention of light to the world. Good. Inhale, bring that knee up. Exhale. Inhale, stretch the left leg back. And as you exhale, bring that knee forward into the pigeon. Open the heart. Send that light into the bed. Good. Come back up. Bring that knee in. And sit back into Balasana one more time. Just. Cross the feet. This is my favorite way to get back with my back onto the mat. Come right down. We're going to do um, a little time for memory today. I'm going to do a, 
stretch. But if you'd like, you can just bring a chair or the couch and put your legs up or the wall, put your legs up the wall and move back. This is an inversion just to get rid of all of the grief that we're holding, some pain that we might be holding. And if you'd like to call someone for memory, one of the things that we do during this month is we take time to remember those who we've loved and lost. Be school. And let's just press the left leg up into the ceiling, grab behind and just circle the left foot to the left, to the right. Inhale, flex, and exhale, let anything go at the point. Remembering jewels. Thank you. Flex and remembering Diane. And as we exhale, point. Inhale, left, uh, flex. This time as you exhale, bring the left ankle under the right knee and pull back. Release the grief from the left hip as you rock from side to side. Just hold a lot of stored grief in the hip sockets and the muscles. We're just going to allow the light of our practice to just whisk those away to join the lights of those who are departed from our lives. They shine brightly into our hearts. Inhale, exhale, and release that foot down to the mat. Inhale, press the right foot up, grab behind, and rotate the foot to the left and the right. Inhale, flex, exhale, point. Release the grief. Inhale, bring the blessing of memory into the heart, that light. And as you exhale, release anything that you might not be. Inhale, flex. Bring that right ankle onto the left knee. Pull back and release anything you don't need from the right hip as you rock gently from your side to side. Release that foot down, bring both feet up. Inhale, and as you exhale, open them wide. Release the groin area. Inhale, as you exhale, bring the soles of the feet together and open the knees. Inhale, exhale, draw the arms up over the head, Sukta Baddha Konasana. Supine butterfly as we take the light of memory and just allow it to pollinate all of the energy, all of the, the wonderful memories to fly free, enjoy the light to the shards. Inhale, exhale, draw the right knee over to the left side. Bring the arms out to the right into a T. Nice, easy twist. Inhale, exhale, draw the knees over to the right and look to the left. And you should be ready for a Shavasana. And bring your legs down in front of you, palms up. Allow the body to relax back into the leg. Sorry about the dogs. They're in the background. I hope you can't hear them. And just imagine this mikvah of light as you lie back into a rela relaxation cocoon, a warm 10 inch thick cotton, we'll call it a blanket. 
or it could be a warm water bath, a mikvah of light. As you imagine this healing light radiating down from the tips of the toes all the way to the top of the head. And this light allowing the crown of the head to connect with the source. The eyes are relaxed. Even the ear canals open as the eyeballs roll back and release. The jaw relaxes, the mouth becomes four walls with the ceiling floor, the mouth, the tongue suspend, suspended easily within. The neck becomes filled with light, the light of kindness for everything that we speak. The arms are heavy with this warmth of light. down the right side for compassion and the left side for strength. All the way down to the fingertips and the thumbs, remembering to release the thumbs. Coming into the beat of the heart as you sense the light the oxygenated fluid Sending healing to every organ, every vein, every artery. Nikavim, Nikavim, Kalumim, Kalumim. Openings and closings which bring us life and light. And this healing light moving down the spine, over the belly, into the hip. Releasing the hips, allowing the hip joints to release open. Down the right leg and the left leg, the left leg bringing us endurance, strength. The right leg bringing us humility. And balancing that all the way down to the feet. The light of Shekhinah surrounding us as a force field that will keep us protected during this month and into the days of awe. Take a few moments to memorize this feeling of light, peace. making a pillow out of the arms. Take one nice big deep breath, release the air out of the mouth. Just be seated for our healing circle. Mm. Dear friends, we have our healing circle. And before we begin that, allow me to invite names of those who are in need of healing either in the chat room or if you'd like to 
say those names out loud or in your hearts, please do so. My sister Fern. Thank you. All of those who are suffering from the fires in Hawaii. Our thoughts and prayers go out to all of those who are in need here and everywhere. And we'll send the light of our practice today to them bringing our hands into Anjali Mudra, which is a balance pose, really. Some people call it prayer pose. I kind of like it. But for me, if you press the palms together, you can just feel that energy of balance, of light and healing. So let's inhale, open the arms, bring that healing into our heart center that light of healing, and then exhale, send it out to the world and to anyone who's in need. Energy of light. Inhale, bring the palms together. And then as you exhale, just bring that energy all the way down and then bring fingertips into the third eye. Healing coming right into our mind, body, spirit. Inhale, open, bring the light of healing into the heart center. Exhale, send the light of healing everywhere it's needed. Inhale, palms together, exhale, all the way down the midline. This time, let's bring our hands to the heart and massage in the healing as we Bring the light of healing to those in need. We especially bring that light to ourselves during this month as we find our purpose, our place, our path for truth, our path for forgiveness of self-acceptance, everything that we need. Thank you for spending this hour of light with me. I wish you a day of deep reflection, of deep joy. Namaste, light. Thanks everybody. Just blessing you all. Sending us on our journey for the month of Elul. And I'll look forward to seeing us everyone very, very soon next week for our next practice.